Bowderdale Head is located at the north end of the Haugal Fells um, in Cumbria, uh, within the Westland Dales part of the Yorkshire Dales National Park. Um, the Kerr family has farmed here since 1964, myself, um, Mark being the, the third generation. Uh, we're running 650 Swaledale Yows on the farm. Um, approximately half of them going pure and running up onto the Howgill Fells and the rest uh, going to the Blueface Leicester Tup. We have rights for 640 yows plus followers and 220 hogs on the fell. Um, grazing the fell for roughly seven months of the year between early April and just into November. For, for most of the year there's only probably less than 50% of the rights are actually used, which is quite a common theme across many fell farms due to the fell sheep being less profitable now than they were. Uh, so today's, today's task of gathering the sheep was um, the end of August for spaining the yows, uh, to, so weaning the lambs off the yows together with we gather at this time of year to, to dip the sheep, to treat them or protect them against uh, sheep scab, lice, um, and giving them a fluke dosing. Our heft runs up Bowdersdale Valley, so it's about f nearly five miles from one end of the valley to the other. We go up on the quad bike to the far end, uh, and then three of us walk back down the valley side, as it's too steep for quad bikes and one person coming along uh, the edge with a bike and a dog to sort of dog them in. The key part is having sort of quite good dogs. So one of my friends, uh, he came and helped us for the day. He's quite well dogged. It's a big part of gathering sheep is having good dogs. And the better dogs you have, and you, the easier it is. At the end of the day, we had about just shy of maybe a thousand sheep in the yard of sort of ours and various neighbours's. Quite a lot of sheep took quite a bit of getting through. Various breeds, uh, mainly Swaledales, quite a few of the, the traditional rough fell sheep, which is is local to the area. A few Chivets, a few Herdwicks mixed in, so a bit of, a bit of a mixture of breeds. What have you been doing? Been gathering! And how old are you? Four. Well done, did you enjoy it? Give it a big whistle. The Haugill Fells is a large area of land going from Sedbury in the south in sort of a triangle area towards Teabay and Ravensdale, with each farm having its own heft uh, within the fell. It's, uh, it's classed as an open common so there's no boundaries between any hefts within the fell. So when you gather the sheep, roughly you sort of, we look to get 75-80% of our own sheep. When we gather them, a lot of them, because there's no boundaries, they will wander off onto other peoples. 
hefts and then when we get gather our sheep we'll uh, we'll get other people's as well so the task after after dinner today was to sort the sheep sorting them through the shedder uh, running off, hours off in one direction and we tend to sort the two different directions either side of us in opposite ways through the shedder as well and then uh, later on other people will come and either pick their sheep up or I will swap them with other neighbours if they've been gathering. We're spraying the lambs at this time of year to take them off the fell and bring them onto lower down ground that's had quite a bit of a rest. Gives the, the lambs a chance to grow on and do better. It, uh, it also gives the, the chance for the yows to have a rest. They'll go back up to the fell for another six weeks, two months. Um, give them a bit of a rest, get them back into condition, ready for breeding again in October, November. So I'll start the year again. As the lambs will, they'll spend the next few months on the Dean by ground where they'll sort of get split off into into weathers and, and gimmers. The weathers will get fattened either on farm or a lot of farms will sell them store, go to a finisher. As the gimmers so they'll run around for a little bit at home and sort off the best ones that we're going to keep. And they'll go away for winter onto sort of dairy farms mainly. Ours go up to Wickton. And then uh, yeah, so sort of, yeah, the year will start again so sort of, from now onwards. Every farm has its own flock marks for their sheep, so generally there's, uh, there's sort of three or four different ident identification methods. So each sheep should have uh, two tags um, with an individual UK flock number which is unique to, to each farm together with a farm name or surname of the farmer and then an individual number as well. Um, one of those tags should be an electronic tag, so it can be read um, electronically, digitally, and it will come up with with the UK, the flock number and, and the individual number. And each sheep 
each or each heft, heft each farmer should all have their own wool mark which is a, a branded like the colour or generally black or red blue sometimes orange uh, can be used a green um, and each each farmer will have their own either a letter or different marking based on the sheep and then there's especially like the horn sheep there can be a horn burn on the sheep um, and the the last one is probably the the safest one is the earmark of the sheep so each farmer will have their own earmark taking a notch out of the ear in a different place or how is this sort of an under bit which is like a bit of a half moon circle under one side of the ear and then a fork which is a bit of a triangle out of the opposite ear they're good ways of, uh, of identifying the sheep so when we're sorting the sheep it's generally it's quite easy you can tell as they're coming down the shed here that you can see judging the, the flock mark who's they are occasionally you'll get the odd sheep where the, the markings rubbed off and you'll have to either read tag or, or look at the e-marks but generally it's, it's fairly easy as they're coming down the shedder to see who's they are but it's, it's quite a, a task where you can't really take your eye off the ball as they're coming the sheep will run down the race quite fast at you and you've only got a split second or two to, to glance at the sheep and look at it and work out whose it is if, uh, and if you get them wrong it's, you can soon waste a bit of time looking through them sheep afterwards making sure that uh, that you've got your own or you've sorted the neighbours into the right pens and if, uh, if you've got them wrong you can spend a bit of time later on in the day or the day after swapping sheep with somebody if, uh, if you have got them wrong mm -hmm.